it's a pillow my name is emma and today i'm doing some exciting bookish stuff and i wanted to take you guys along with me right now i am at casa de monica michael and kaylee because they let me stay over last night because i have a very eventful bookish day <laughs> firstly i am going into new york city to interview marissa meyer whom if you don't know is the author of lunar chronicles and most recently my fave renegades i'm so excited for the opportunity to interview her we're just going to talk about all things renegades and i know it's going to be great <laughs> normally i get really nervous before interviews but i am not worried at all i have my questions I have Natalia coming and she's gonna help me man the camera and stuff to make sure it all goes smoothly So I'm really really excited after the interview I'm gonna be quickly coming back to Brooklyn and dropping all of my filming equipment off Bless my best friend for being so accommodating to my needs And then I'm going back into New York City because Neil Schusterman is having a signing later tonight And I'm so so excited y'all know I read Scythe and Thunderhead earlier this year And it has become one of my absolute favorite 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 novels. I have actually actually spoiler filled reviews of both Scythe and Thunderhead so if you want to check them out I will leave them linked below but today Neil and his son Jared are going to be at Books of Wonder for the release of their newest book Dry which I am a little bit more than halfway through and I'm really enjoying it thus far. Natalia's going to come with me because she also read Scythe and is in the middle of Thunderhead and so I'm just excited for a nice bookish day. I'm excited to spend more time with Nat and again I'm super excited to take you guys along with me. of the Information Society? That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society. my camera woman for today best assistant in the entire world <laughs> listen i couldn't ask for anything more out of the many things that sets running needs apart from a lot of the why books out there is how slow burn the relationship between nova and adrian is you know we all know about the insta love in ya but adrian and nova really have this like slow development of you know, starting out as strangers, to friends, to potentially lovers, and then you really know yet. Yes. And so, um, what about it? Like, what about the relationship? Would you really want to drag it out <laughs> and make it, um, in my opinion, more realistic than a lot of the love stories that we do read in Why Science Fiction? It's my project, and it's going really good, and I can't wait. I can't wait to share it with everybody even though that's like a long ways away but well, i know but it's like <laughs> it already like it feels so close not so far away because it's the end it's the end it's the end so yeah. there's no chance we're, we're pretty sure first. this is the last one <laughs> pretty sure no i'll cross my fingers and hope for like seven more oh, yeah. books <laughs> So I'm back in Brooklyn really quick, just like getting all my stuff together for the rest of the day. I had to exchange my Marissa Meyer books for my Neil Schusterman books. Marissa was actually so kind and she signed my copy of Renegades and my Arc of Arch Enemies, which was so sweet of her. In Renegades she wrote to Emma, do you have what it takes? And then in Arch Enemies she wrote to Emma, keep your enemies close. So now I'm going to be heading back into New York City with Nat and we're going to go get some lunch in Union Square probably and just chill until the new Shishman event and it's going to be great. Hey what's up hello my name is Emma and today we are walking on a sidewalk. We're walking on a sidewalk. <laughs> great quality content. Um, your girl got a parking ticket. <laughs> It was it was bound to happen at some point with the amount of times I park here, but it's especially frustrating because we totally had enough time <laughs> to move it, and I just didn't know. Whatever. It's fine. We're going to meet Neil Schusterman, so like everything's gonna be okay today. <laughs> Matt and I are in 
Chinatown. We're at a vegetarian dim sum place. We got some vegetable lo mein. We had some <laughs> mock duck, but we devoured it. And then we have some dumplings coming. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm so pumped. We got our dumplings, and I'm so hyped. They are gigantic, and they look so, so good. Net. Net. City Bakery hot chocolate. I'm just gonna die. Will you marry me? <laughs> Aww, you kissed the bride. <laughs> so good. I can't believe my wife is cheating on me already. <laughs> Sorry. We have a very intimate relationship. On a scale of one to ten, how good is that hot chocolate? She ten. She ten. She thick. She hot and she thick. Thick. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 So Nat and I are numbers one and two of the whole signing. We're the first people that's gonna get it signed. This has never happened before. <laughs> I've been to a lot of book signings. Oh, I also got a water bottle because I bought dry, but I actually already have this water bottle, so I gave it to Nat. <laughs> You'll never go thirsty. <laughs> I can smell the ocean and feel the salt air making my clothes cling to my skin. Waves thunder in the distance, and although the ocean's cadence has always been comforting to me, the silence that lingers in between each crashing wave now strikes me as odd. Still, I push forward on my bike, flying down the last stretch of road which dead ends into the Pacific Coast Highway and the beach just beyond. I don't feel the blisters on my hands anymore or the ache in my legs. I have to see that beach. I have to know that my parents are there and that they're okay. But once I'm across PCH, at the edge of the boardwalk, I hit my brakes hard and stop dead in my tracks. Because before me isn't a beach populated by families retrieving water rations, but a vast, sandy wasteland. It's virtually deserted, with just a few random people who seem to meander aimlessly. Farther out, towards the water's edge, are machines hitched to the backs of trucks. Maybe half a dozen of them spread out along the beach, but they're not producing water. They're not doing anything. In fact, one of them is spewing black smoke, and another one is lying on its side. I drop my bike and step down from the boardwalk to the sand, with Garrett and Kelton close behind. My eyes dart around, searching for my parents, desperate for even the slightest sign of them. And then Garrett says, Alyssa, do you hear that? I do. It's a sound almost musical and eerily electronic that lingers just beneath the sound of the waves. I walk across the sand and the sound gets louder until I realize it's not just one sound, but many all blending together. And all at once I realize what it is. Cell phones. The ringtones of cell phones. There are dozens of them lying in the sand around us creating an eerie eight-bit symphony. The lost calls of a thousand souls. Schusterman write in our books. Jared wrote for Nathaniel, we quenched. Because? Because 
I'm thirsty for him. We thirsty as out. hell <laughs> for Jared <laughs> Schusterman. He knows. He picked up on it. We were giving him some vibes. I was definitely staring at him. <laughs> He's so attractive. I died. I'm just like really overwhelmed because yesterday I met my queen slash wife, told me how to get me. Now today I realized that I'm in love with Jared <laughs> So many emotions. So many relationships. <laughs> <laughs> I had to document this momentous occasion where Natalia let me listen to Lil Peep in my car. <laughs> Truthfully, it's because we had no other options because I don't have Spotify or Apple Music, but it means the world to me. <laughs> so it's like four days later, whatever. I don't think I've completed a vlog on the day of the actual vlog in like a year. So it's just sort of become part of my brand to like finish my vlogs days later. It's fine. So I figured to just close out this video, I'll show you the books that I got signed and what the authors wrote in them. I did show you the Marissa Meyer books I got signed earlier, but from the dry event, I obviously got dry signed and they wrote for Emma, be quenched Neil and Jared Schusterman. I still think this is less of a reference to the actual book and more of a reference to how thirsty Natalia and I are for Jared Schusterman. One thing I did find out from the signing is what this means. I got my Ark of Dry signed at Book Expo and there was just this weird symbol at the bottom that I had no idea what it meant but I realized it's the date. It says 10-4-2018 which is very interesting. <laughs> and then for my Neil Schusterman books I got Challenger Deep to which Neil wrote for Emma Read Deeply Neil Schusterman. Then I got Scythe signed and he wrote for Emma Live Forever or Not. And then finally Thunderhead, to which he wrote for Emma, thunderously, Neil Schusterman. I'm just releasing right now. I actually have a copy of Unwind, like, right here, and I forgot to bring it, but I do actually think I want to get the new paperback editions of Unwind for when I read them, so... You know, it's whatever. Overall, this bookish day was truly amazing. I had so much fun with the interview. I had so much fun just spending time with Natalia. I had an amazing time at the dry event meeting Neil and Jared Schusterman. One interesting update for you guys, so that this last clip isn't so pointless, is in between the signing and today, I did actually finish reading dry. I feel like after the signing, I definitely enjoyed the book more. I feel like there is just something about seeing authors actually talk about their books, having them read their books, and just giving their insight on their novel that we don't normally have as readers just really makes me appreciate a book much more than I would have if I didn't listen to them talk about it. So I will share my thoughts on Dry on my Goodreads page when I post a review and also in my October wrap-up, but overall it was a really enjoyable read and I'm very, very glad I read it when I did. Alrighty, so that concludes this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching because this was such a nice day and I can't wait to just watch this vlog over and over and over again to relive it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!